I'm going to show you how to use Google Apps Script to trigger an automation. Now, quick shout out to the user who suggested this. Thank you very much. I thought it was such a cool idea. I'd create a little guide to show people how to do it. But awesome for getting in touch and using Axiom. So um, first up, I'm going to create a very simple demo bot for you. This um, Apple script will basically trigger a run inside of Axiom. And I'm just going to open up a Google search page and enter some text, nothing too flash. So let's start off with um, following the first step in the guide, and that's to set up a new automation. So we're going to use the design pattern you can see on screen. I'm just highlighting the pointer that involves three steps, receive data from another app, go to page, and enter text. So let's create an automation that follows that design pattern. That's one I made earlier. Let's go to new automation, add step, and I'm going to type in receive. Now, whilst I'm adding the receive data from another app step, it's worth mentioning, um, to be transparent, this step is only available to pro subscribers and above. So this step basically catches, it's the endpoint and catches any data sent via an API. You'll see in the text, it also includes the URL to the endpoint. That's all I need to do is add that step. It needs no configuration. Now I'm going to add it for the purpose of this guide, add a go-to page. Go-to page just loads web page. I'm going to, in fact, unload the Google UK search page. I'm going to enter some text into that. So I need to add an enter text step. And then I'm just going to tab actually onto Google because I need to select the field to enter the text, press complete. Now we do need to pass some data in there. I'm going to pass that from the um, Google script, from the, the Google sheet itself attached to the script. Now I'm going to have a value in, I've got the sheet set up already and I've got the value in column A. So I'm going to select column A, press save and close. Now um, the script will close quite, the bot will close quite quickly. Um, so I'm going to add a short wait so we can view it run. Okay, so that's the first part set up. We will need to give the, um, the automation a name because we're going to have to use that later when we're setting up the web app script. So I'm going to now go on to the next part of the guide, and that is to, um, to follow these steps. We set up our bar. We're now, now going to create the API call that triggers the bot run in the app script. So we all need to go to the Google Sheet that going, it's going to fetch some data from. I'm going to go to Extensions. I'm going to go to App Script and open up the window as directed by the guide. Now let me tab back to the guide. Um, you will need to add your function in there that obviously does the post requests. You're going to need to obviously send the key. Um, the axiom name and any data. Data should be formatted in a 2D array. Um, don't worry, on the guide, we've got an example and I'm just going to cut and paste that and this will give you a good idea of how to set it up. So that's the, the cut and paste code in, but I'm not done setting that up as of yet because I will need to insert my API key where it says insert key. And of course, the automation name. So let's just tab back in there. So we've got the key there. Now you'll find um, the API key on your dashboard. If you go to Google Sheets and API key, show API token, and you grab the key there. Now, once again, it's only available on um, the pro tier and above. And let me just close Axiom and insert my key. Next up are the, um, I need to, of course, insert the name of the axiom. So that's test bot file. Just being lazy and cutting and pasting. And insert the name there. So that's key setup, name setup. I don't need to add any data values because we're passing that in from the Google Sheet. You can, of course, adapt the function or write a completely different function if you want but you will need to pass the data. And if you're not using Google Sheet, you created an app script somewhere else in, in the Google ecosystem, you will need to pass the data in as a 2D array. Of course, Google Sheets are, and it's already compatible with our system. So 
Um, also worth bearing in mind, we do have, this is obviously a coded way of doing it, but we do, let me just show you, have, um, create a new Google Sheet. We have write to Google Sheet. We have um, read from Google Sheet. We have edit rows. Google Sheets, we've got lots of integration with Google Sheets if you don't want to do this a coded way. But I totally get some people may have built their, their scripts and may, may want to trigger, trigger runs from inside the app script. So cool. Now, I think we're almost done. What we need to do is click Save to, to store our function. And if it um, validates, we should see the Run button enabled so we can actually do a, a test run. Now. If you've got everything set up properly, you've got the correct endpoint in and you've got your key in, etc., you will get a response back from Axiom Server when you do the request. If it's configured correctly, you should get a URL to view the bot run. If it's not figured correctly, you should get some form of error message telling you what you need to change. So let's go ahead and run our app script and see if we get a response. We can see the execution log has started, and there we go, we have the URL. Let's just cut and paste that from the response. And you can see Axiom is loaded in and typed in the data into Bingo. So that's pretty cool. Do keep in mind, if you don't add the weight in, you most likely won't see the bot run, and you'll just see the what is loading, or unless you've got a longer process running along in your Axiom itself, you'll then see it run, but they close pretty quickly if they're done. Now, um, one other little tip is just, if, you, if you're on the dashboard, you can see um, run reports. So you can see if the automation ran, a tick means it was successful, see uh, a red square means there's an error. We are working on improving our error reporting right now. It's very basic, but that link will take you to um, edit the axiom itself. We just go back to run reports and you can of course click to see the full report and said it started and it was triggered and ran successfully. So it worked. That's awesome. And that's how to trigger um, your automation from an app script. Thank you very much.